Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. So what's going on, man? Jay Lewis, we back. What's popping, man? How you what's doing? Up, bro? I'm good, bro. Man, I'm it's good. been a while since we sat down, bro. A lot has transpired since then. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. How, how your 2023 going? Shit, I've been started off fucked up, I ain't gonna lie. I felt like this wasn't even a year for me, bro. Mm -hmm. But shit started back she started back picking up, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Straight up, straight up, man. Oh, I wanna say this before we really get off into the interview. You know, on our way over here, you you played me some nice records. Yeah, I got some shit coming, yeah. Got, I'm over here vibe, I'm like, what is how you coming? And it was kinda like a like a different approach, a different vibe. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it right. I got some shit, bro. I got some shit lined up for 23, man. I can't even lie. Yeah, yeah I just been in the lab working, bro, just cooking up. That's yeah. all, bro. Just staying focused, man. I want to say this, too. I see you got the teeth done. Oh, yeah. Kind of I had to go. I had to go. I had to step it up a notch, man. What makes you, know? you do that? Because uh, I, I see a lot of people doing that. But, hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. Wasn't nothing wrong with my smile at first. I just wanted to enhance my shit, just make my shit better. You know what I'm saying? They got always on that camera and shit. They always hear there, uh, you know, people when the people look at you, like, you know, it's all about being presentable, you know what I'm saying? So the first thing they be looking at is your fucking teeth and your face and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had to go get my shit done, man. Yeah, yeah. Now I wanna say this, we y'all cause we, we talked about this before. Right, we're not gonna speak on the case. Yeah. But you were you were locked up on yeah. Christmas and you said it's up. Yeah, that shit was bullshit, bro. Being in jail, that shit not cool, bro. Yeah. I don't know, niggas that be in and out of jail, bro. I don't know what they, I don't see what they like about that shit. That shit ain't cool, bro. That ain't no fun, man. Oh, yeah. That shit boring, bro. Did it make you like appreciate your freedom? And fucking right, hell yeah, bro. Shit, you got niggas telling you when to fucking go, go lay down and shit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes if the fucking dorm do some shit. Everybody be on lockdown, you know what I'm saying? So that shit be bullshit. And then, bro, I ate so many fucking peanut butter jelly sandwiches. When I got home, bro, I threw all that shit away. Yeah. I don't want to eat no more peanut butter jelly ever again in my life, bro. I don't even like that shit. I can't stand the smell of it, bro. I don't want no type of peanut butter, no type of jelly. Like that? Yeah, bro, I ain't fucking with that shit. Wow. Yeah, that shit bullshit, bro. So how long were you gone? I was gone a month. A month? Yeah. It was a long three days. Yeah, fucking right. Hell yeah, bro. And I was from fucking Texas, man. That shit bullshit, bro. Man, don't go to jail, bro. That shit not cool, bro. Mm -hmm. That shit ain't cool. Now, I want to say this, too. This has been a topic, and you ain't got to really speak on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Because Gunner did almost a year before he got out. Yeah. Now, from the outside looking in, we're not saying how he got out, but do you see why he wanted to be out? Yeah, I can see why he wanted to be out. You know what I'm saying? But it, I don't know, bro. I don't know what they got going no, on. No, I ain't saying speak on the whole yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. I'm just the fact that you been in jail, yeah. and then you can see, like, damn. I could I'm totally kidding. see why he wanted to get out there, bitch. Hell yeah. From having all that money and doing what you want to do to being in a fucking cell, like I say, with a nigga telling you what niggas telling you what to do. Like, bullshit, square-ass people, like, you know, that ain't got no type of emotion in the real world, you know, like just lame ass people. You can tell they got picked on the COs and shit. You, they, that shit bullshit, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, so I can understand him wanting to come home, yeah. for sure. Right. Yeah, Hell yeah. Now, um, like I say, 2023, you got some new stuff coming. And shit, earlier yeah. this year, well, last month, you had tweeted that I'm trying to be where the love is. Yeah, bro. Like, what do you really mean by that? Like, is it is it a new approach to how you moving now? Um, yeah, I mean, like a lot of shit, like with this music shit, you just be wanting to build relationships and shit like that. But you know what I'm saying? Everybody not your fucking friend. Everybody not loyal. You know what I'm saying? They got niggas that are just take you in, like you know they fuck with you and shit like that. But as soon as you leave out the room and shit, they talking about you and this and that. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to be with a genuine love at when I tweeted that. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what I mean by that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And speaking of love, man, um, Mr. Kane, one of your brother's family. Yeah. He he always confesses his love for you. Every yeah, time. that's my fucking bro, every bro. Every time we do an interview, he gonna bring you up in some type of way, man. Yeah, yeah. Jay, I just love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, know? yeah. So, from yo, I I we I've heard his side. Mm. I've heard his side. You know. Speak on y'all relationship for the people who really don't know how close y'all really are. That's my brother, bro. That's like that's that's like this, you know what I'm saying? We could have an argument or whatever and have a motherfucking fist fight 
and be straight in the next five minutes, you know what I'm saying? That's my bro. I fuck with that nigga, he fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? I've been knowing that nigga really all my life, like, to be honest. You know that nigga for a long time. That's one of the niggas I can count on, you know what I'm saying? He can count on me, same, vice versa. Hell yeah, that's my fucking bro, man. Blood couldn't make us no closer, man. Yeah. He told me a story about one night he got drunk. He went to the <laughs> He spent like, he say, I, I don't know if he said 100 bands or whatnot. I don't know. Yeah, that nigga be in that casino. Yeah, he be in that casino. He fuck with that bitch. He said, man, Jay called me and said this girl wanted to get with me. Yeah. But I, I think he said he hung the phone up on you or you spazzed out on him. Yeah. Or like that. And he was like, man, man, he was drunk, I don't know, man. <laughs> man, we both was loaded, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We both was loaded. They had this little bitch wanting to fuck with him and shit. Yeah. But she was playing and shit, like, you know, about the time he got there and shit. So it just was a lot of tension at the time. She, if, if a bitch say she want to fuck with you, then, you know, you come and then she bullshitting. And you was at the casino gambling and yeah. shit. That's fucking up the money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was like, shit, we got this shit going on over here. Come fuck with me, you know? So that's how that happened, man. But... That shit, we was cool. Like I say, the next five minutes, bro, it just was a misunderstanding. The both of us was loaded. Yeah. 